Weed goes extraterrestrial, Oreos eyes cannabis, and another beer brewer signs on to a future with pot. Hi, Anthony here for this week's marijuana market update. But first, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss my weekly updates or special uploads. In just a minute, I'm going to highlight the companies that you mentioned last week. But first, let's take a look at what's new in the marijuana market. Elon Musk's SpaceX is teaming up with Italo Holdings to send weed into space. Researchers are looking to better understand how hemp grows under stress, but the added PR from the stunt doesn't hurt either. Mondelez, the maker of popular cookie brands like Oreos and Nabisco's, is working on a CBD-infused line of snacks. Moves like this not only show how far we have come with the social acceptance of marijuana, but also how large this market can still get. Canada's largest independent brewer, Moosehead, is forming a joint venture with Sproutly to make a THC-infused brew. This is the, the third major partnership between a marijuana producer and an alcohol company. Constellation Brands and Canopy signed a deal last August, and then Hexo and Molson Coors followed suit shortly after. We should start to see the infused drinks hitting the Canadian market in late 2019 to early 2020. Now let's check out who our weekly winners and losers are. This week's loser is the multi-state operator MedMen after its former CFO filed charges against the company. Among other things, there are claims that the CEO and chairman conspired to cause short-term stock manipulation. The high-end retail store has fallen from grace as mounting allegations of misdealings arise. And this week's winner is the Marijuana Markets Podcast. When I floated this idea past my publisher, he set a goal of 1,000 subscribers, and we thought it would take months to get there. Thanks to all my viewers like you, we shot up to 800 subscribers in just a couple weeks. Thank you for all of your feedback and the comments you leave. We're already talking about other types of video content to upload. So if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Now let's take a look at the companies you asked me to review. CanTrust is a $620 million Canadian marijuana producer. It is building out its operations to grow 100,000 kilograms of marijuana annually, but it needs cash to get there. And its recent capital raise was 15% below its share price. Shares fell from $10 to below $6 a share. This isn't an uncommon story in the marijuana market. Companies that don't have the cash flow to build out operations are deluding shareholders to get it. Trellis Web Holdings is a $1.8 billion U.S. producer of CBD. Shares rallied earlier this year thanks to tailwinds from the passing of the U.S. Farm Bill that opens up the U.S. CBD market. While last quarter's revenue nearly doubled year over year, expenses also grew, eating into earnings. It does have $70 million in the bank, which doesn't have me too worried about it needing a cash raise. I think Charlotte's Web is a bit expensive. I'd like to see them continue to drive strong sales growth for them to warrant that price. Green Thumb Industries is a $2.7 billion U.S. operator. It operates in 12 states and brought in $20 million in revenue. With retail locations and diversified products, Green Thumbs is well-suited to grab market share. It currently has 18 stores open, but has a total of 88 retail licenses but it is priced for perfection. This looks like a strong operation, but there are sure to be bumps along the way. Shares are coming down off of all-time highs. I'd keep an eye on this to see where the share price funds support. Thank you to Bill, Raymond, Bob, Stephen, and all my viewers who left comments last week. I couldn't get to every name mentioned, but I will look to review more companies in the coming weeks. If you enjoyed this week's update, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to speed on the marijuana market. With your help, we can get to 1,000 su subscribers this week. Have a great week. This is Anthony from Banning Hill wishing you good investing.